Control Panel Preferences. This demo assumes you've already logged into your control panel. Now let's learn about the control panel preferences and how to adjust them. Click the Preferences link here. There are six types of preferences available. Appearance Settings, General Settings, Secure Settings, File Manager Settings, Mail Settings, and Site Editor Settings. By default, we are already on the Appearance Settings page. Let's go through each Preferences page starting with the page we're already on, Appearance Settings. There are four preset layouts available to choose from, and you can see a preview of each layout here. In order for any change in preset layouts to take effect, you must click the Update Appearance Settings button here. This is what the Text Plus layout looks like. This is what the text layout looks like. This is what the Icon Plus layout looks like. And this is what the Icon layout looks like. Once the preset layout is set, Click the Advanced Options button here. In Advanced Options, we can modify the page layout. And we can choose either text only or icons with text display. We can further customize our control panel by choosing which widgets are to be displayed and in what order. Widgets listed here in the right window will be displayed in our control panel, while widgets listed here in the left window will not be displayed, unless you move them back over to the right window. To change the order in which the widgets are displayed, highlight the widget, then use these green arrows to move it up or down in the list. When finished, click the Update Appearance Settings button. This is what the Icon Plus layout looks like, with the changes made in the Advanced Options. The widgets are listed here in the left column, as we defined in Page Layout. Also, all options are displayed with icons and text displays instead of just text. Let's scroll down to see the rest of the page. Now click the General Settings link. Then click Change Password. From here you can change your control panel password. It is a good idea to change your password often for security reasons. Now click Security Question. Every user should set up their security question, as it's the first thing the support department will ask in the event you have to contact them. Click the Secure Settings link. You can restrict administration access to certain IP addresses by using the IP blocking feature. Any IP address you enter here will be able to access the control panel as long as the user has the username and password. You can just enter the partial IP address if you want to grant access to an entire Class C network. This is helpful if you have a dynamic IP address that changes periodically. As soon as any IP addresses are listed in this box, only those IP addresses will have access to the control panel while all others will be blocked. 
When finished, you would have to click the Update Security Settings button for the changes to take effect. Now click File Manager Settings. In File Manager Settings, you can enable an HTML editor so you can edit your files through the File Manager. You can also set whether or not you want system files to be shown or hidden in the File Manager. With system files hidden, you will not see files like .htaccess or .track. Now click Mail Settings. Mail Central is where you set up your email accounts. Please see our other tutorials for details on how to set up your email and all other aspects of Mail Central, as that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The last Preferences link is Site Editor Settings. It is from here that you can set your default site editor to the editor of your choice. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now be more familiar with setting your control panel preferences. Congratulations! You've just learned about your control panel preferences.